If you have read enough about HTTP, you know that there are different redirect mechanisms. It's when a user is trying to access a resource, you're trying to just to redirect him or her to a different place because of different reasons. Sometimes that particular resource is uh, temporarily in another place. You cannot access that resource for a limited period of time. That will involve a 302 response. A 302 means a redirect, a temporary redirect. You will not be able to access this resource temporarily. Please go to this other location. Some other times the redirect should be permanent. This resource has completely changed the location and from now on you should go look it at this other location. That's a 301 redirect. We're going to show you in a second how to translate that into Flask code, which is sim super simple. We said we have two types of regex to do. The first one is the temporary regex. So whenever someone is trying to access a particular resource, you will tell him or her to be redirected to a particular uh, different location. We are simulating this with the home page of our 08 example. So I will, if I go to the home page, for web application, I will be redirected to the request info page. This is basically the same thing we were using in our previous example. Uh, why is this? Well, maybe we don't have the home ready or we are just trying things out, so we are redirecting a user temporarily to a new location. We also have a permanent redirect, the 301. We are simulating this with the slash info route. We are supposing that before, I don't know why, we were naming this particular resource just slash info. But maybe it got too confused or something, so we decided to name it now request info. And from now on, all the users trying to access this resource will have to go to the slash request info uh, resource. So if we get our user that it's lagging, that maybe she or he doesn't know about this change and she's trying to go to this particular resource, we will redirect this user to request info, but we will also tell her or him that the code, that the redirect is a permanent redirect. It's a 301 as you can see here. The way to differentiate these two redirects is super simple. You will just create a redirect by importing the redirect function from the Flask framework and just specifying the particular code that you want to uh, include with your redirect, a 301 or a 302. If you don't specify the code by default, as we are doing in this index page, the code will be 302 temporary. Um, this is basically it. As you can see here, Flask also make this particular process super simple about redirects. We see how things are being done really, really simple and it's easing the job for us. In the following videos, we're going to start to get more professional with our application, starting using databases and things more exciting. Bear with us and see you in the next one.